everyone, it's Sophie from The Philosophy. Today we're making one of our favorite paleo recipes. You could really have this any time of day, let's be honest, but we're making Green Dream Paleo Waffles. So this is the finished uh, version. <laughs> we had it for breakfast this morning, absolutely incredible. We're gonna have it for lunch too. Um, we're gonna have it for lunch too. Put my hair up for all those Dead. peeps out there. <laughs> Nervous about me getting stuff in their food. I love eating um, your hair. I know. It's good. It's good stuff. Good protein. Um, so, Sophie, I am from a company called Philosophy. I have a superfood company, which we'll talk more about. Um, I am tuning in every Tuesday in November. Today is a big day, election day. Please let me know if you voted. Give us a heart. Give us a thumbs up and say you voted and what state you're in. Um, and if you're not in the U.S., let us know where you're tuning in from. Um, so again, the finished product is Green Dream Waffles. You will see that they are super thick. They are really, really yummy, and they're gluten-free, and they taste great. So this is what we're making. Um, I made it for my kids this morning. We make it probably one to two times a week. It's really simple, um, fast, easy, nothing processed, super clean meal. Um, you could make this vegan by doing chia seed eggs or whatever kind of egg substitute you like to use. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I have my waffle iron preheating. So what's the benefit of paleo? So paleo just means grain-free. Um, also, if you're looking at anything like Whole30, it's really just about whole nutrients. So vegetables and fruit, nuts and seeds, meat or fish, depending on if you're doing a vegan paleo or if you're doing a, a, a regular paleo with fish and meat and all kinds of other things. But it's really all about nothing processed minimally processed. The only sweetener they usually use is maple syrup or honey. And yeah, so it's just all about like there's no dairy unless it's actually I guess with paleo. I've never been 100% paleo. There's no dairy. These just have, I, don't, I think that they can do some grass-fed dairies, but I'm not 100% on that. If you are paleo, go ahead and chime in. I think grass-fed dairies are okay, like grass-fed butter, um, mm -hmm. maybe some like kefirs and stuff. I'm not 100% on that, but it's a really clean way to eat. And if you see something out there that's paleo, give it a try. It basically just means that they're getting really creative and instead of using grains um, or wheat or gluten, they're using a mix of other things. Like today we're going to use coconut flour, which is really high in fiber, um, great for gluten-free baking. So what is that made out of? And tapioca. So coconut flour is just coconut. That's it. If you look at the ingredients, it's organic coconut. That's all <laughs> that's in it. And then tapioca flour. So this is what we're going to use for our flour. Um, and there's no grains, there's nothing, you know, and there's, you can look up paleo diets and see what, if, you know, all the specifics on that since I'm no expert. Um, I am more of a plant-based eater, but I do love eggs and, um, and fish. So I like things that are paleo. It keeps it really clean and doesn't make me feel too like lethargic from all the gluten. Um, so what we're, what you need is, let's get the recipe. So it's five. Oh, so, do you want, no, that's fine. Okay. Five large eggs. Five large eggs. I'll Vanna white it out. <laughs> so we've got the eggs. So we'll I'll, I'll just start adding these actually to like as the blender while we're going. Yeah. So I'll display all this stuff for you. Where's just so you can see everything. And the green dream is Sophie's product. Yep. That's this is our the most philosophy. important ingredient. This is the most important ingredient in the waffles is the green dream. Can't make it without it. Mm -mm. So the green dream is 10 grams of protein per tablespoon. Um, I add it to just about everything from smoothies to waffles to muffins to oatmeal. There's no sugar in it, so it doesn't kind of take over with that fake protein powder flavor like some other um, protein powders do. So, you know, you can make it savory, so you could add it to a pesto or a spread or a hummus. Um, so that's really great for um, Green Dream. And Green Dream just has hemp powder, spirulina, um, mesquite, chia seeds, maca, and vanilla in it. And the, the protein source is both spirulina and hemp, so it's super clean if you're looking for a clean protein source. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. We'll start with the eggs. I'm going to do five eggs. This is a super high protein waffle. If you think about it, usually waffles are just carbs. They're just mm -hmm. carbs, and that's okay. I think first thing in the morning, it's nice to have carbs. It's energy, fast energy, but the problem is that then you crash. So that's why you don't want to go for a bagel, like a bagel with butter on it or cream cheese. You want to go for something that maybe has some flocks on it or something that has protein also. So these are waffles that have protein in them. So we're doing five eggs. Again, if you're vegan, you could do chia eggs. Do we have any questions? Has anyone voted? What's everyone saying? They're just saying hi. Hi. How's everyone doing today? Where they're from. Um. I'm having a weird day. I hurt my Achilles and then now both of them are hurting. 
So I'm hobbling around and feeling a little off. I was just icing them. Oh, good. Did you ice last night? I didn't ice last night. I iced this morning, and I don't really feel like it helps that much. But I elevated them, and I sat for like 45 minutes. Injuries are the worst. Anyone have any tips on Achilles and how to heal faster? Okay, we've got five eggs. Okay, so then half a cup of almond milk. Okay. But I feel – so last time I made these – they totally failed because I put way too much almond milk. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to measure for you guys. Okay, hear that great sound? The waffle iron is ready. Oh, my God, I thought that was the fire alarm. <laughs> okay, short, short, close up. Stuff. Okay. Um, you grab the spinach. Okay. So, obviously, these are the eggs. This is the coconut flour. If you haven't used that in baking, you should. And Trader Delicious. Joe's has a great coconut flour, um, just so you know. It probably is a little more affordable. Um, yeah. You could get almost all this stuff at Trader Joe's. So just FYI, they even have coconut oil at Trader Joe's now. Um, Felix says that this is getting me in the mood to eat clean today, which is awesome. Yay, I'm so glad. Yeah, the, the cool thing is my philosophy, as it were, is that um, you don't have to sacrifice things that that look good, taste good, feel good in your body oh, just because it's healthy. Um, so it's all about balance and enjoying the food that you're eating and also hopefully making it as clean as possible. So we've got five eggs. We're going to do a half a cup of – let's do our dry ingredients first. Just because yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so then it's one-fourth cup of coconut sugar. Okay. I'm actually going to do – Syrup or honey. I'm going to do our honey instead. So oh. it's more liquidy. So the thing about gluten, um, I changed that on the recipe too. So the recipe you guys have, I think Taste Made is going to post it. If not, we'll do it after this thing. But you kind of want more. I'm going to add pumpkin to this recipe. I'm going to do um, syrup or honey instead of a coconut sugar. And the reason why is because coconut flowers tend to be a little dry. Yeah. Um, and I don't want this to be dry. I want it to be really moist. So we're going to try and add as many liquid ingredients as possible. So for the coconut flour, we need a fourth cup, right? Yes. Okay. So a fourth cup of – oh, this is tapioca. What's tapioca flour? Well, I have – Okay, on this one I have half a cup of coconut flour and uh -huh. three-fourths cup of tapioca starch. Okay. Oh, that's fine. Flour and starch. Okay, so three-fourths cup. Is that right? Yes. Okay, three-fourths cup ta tapioca. And then half a cup of coconut flour. Half a cup of coconut flour. Did everyone eat breakfast today? I definitely do not recommend skipping breakfast. Most important meal of the day. What did you have for breakfast this morning? That you share. And did anyone vote? Did you know? Yeah, nobody's. Vote? Someone says that I have the cocoa flour from TJ's. Cool. I haven't eaten breakfast, so I'm excited to eat oh, wow. this. So is it one cup of coconut flour? It is half a cup of coconut okay. flour. Okay. Yeah, these gluten-free flours are pretty dense. Okay. Perfect. We've got our coconut flour in there. Okay. And then uh, one tablespoon of green dream. Okay, that'll be easy. And then we've got half a cup of almond milk, right? Um, yes. So we're using, um, make sure that you get carrageen free. This is unsweetened. Um, why don't you focus in on that carrageen free on the bottom so that they know what to avoid. So this is our favorite almond milk. If you're not going to make it yourself, which most people are not. We um, try, but. Yeah, I mean, we do once in a while. It's just not really that realistic in like a busy life. I have two little kids. Um, it's a lot, a lot of stuff happening. It's really not that hard to make nut milk, but if you're not going to make it, just make sure you get a really clean, um, plant-based, uh, dairy-free milk. Now we're going to do the green dream, which is going to add 10 grams of protein. I'm going to do a heaping tablespoon, which will add 10 grams of protein, lots of superfoods, give you energy. So the green dream powder you can get on our website, which is www.thephilosophy.com. We can type that out for you. Maybe Taste Made will have our back on that. But it's my name, Philosoph Philosophy, so thephilosophy.com. I'm going to add a big handful of spinach and kale. You can just do spinach. It's a little bit cleaner. Some of the, the kale can get a little bitter sometimes. Um, so we're just adding more greens to add more fiber. And why not, if, if it doesn't change the flavor, and it really does, you know, like why not add more greens? Um, that's my philosophy if it's going to taste the same. Um, how much coconut oil? Um, half a cup. 
half a cup of coconut oil. This stuff is the best. The best. Coconut oil. Who is a coconut oil fan? Give us some heart. Did you oil pull this morning? Yeah. You can do all the things. I've never done that before. Yeah, we were just talking about oil pulling. I did um, coconut oil pulling this morning. And um, it's really great for your gums and your teeth. It's a natural antibacteria. And it pulls out all sorts of toxins. And then you just spit it out. I have a video on my YouTube channel, um, youtube.com backslash philosophy mama. And just look up oil pulling with philosophy mama and you'll probably find it. Um, it's just a really easy way, just like 10 minutes a day, to clean your gums and your teeth and pull out toxins. We know you're ready, waffle maker. Where we get it? We get literally it. keep thinking that that's the final. I know. So traumatizing. Oh my god. Um. So, what's up? Is everyone quiet out there? What's going on? Um. People love coconut oil. Yes. And they love Califia Farms. Yes. And has anyone ever tried Philosophy Superfoods or any of my products? I have. <laughs> Alex, our lovely, lovely camera operator here. <laughs> assistant she works for philosophy and she's amazing i think i'm getting better at this camera thing i'm really proud of you i see you've stability <laughs> i've put my thumb in front of the camera only twice <laughs> and now we're doing pink sea salt oh th yeah this is so do you want to explain the difference between like table salt yeah. and pink salt so um pink sea salt this one is actually himalayan um you definitely don't need to get this kind of exotic you could just get sea salt Sea salt is really high in minerals and really beneficial to your system. We, a lot of our major neural pathways depend on sodium, real sodium, not table salt. Table salt is, um, bad news. It's just not good. Yeah. So stick to sea salt and then there's all kinds of varieties of different types of sea salt, including pink, um, which is delicious. We love pink. But do not be afraid of sea salt. Sea salt is imperative to our bodies and so beneficial, especially if you work out. It's got electro electrolytes in it. Um, it's really great for you. I'm going to add um, a tablespoon. They sell this at Trader Joe's too. Oh, yeah. I'm going to add a tablespoon of um, two, two tablespoons of pumpkin because tis the season. Yeah, like one fourth cup is yeah. about what she just did. Yep. Yeah. Um, did you do baking powder? I haven't yet, but I have it out. Tom. So about a tablespoon? A tablespoon. Normally we do baking soda and baking powder, but I think we just have. This is just for this. For this, I think we only need baking powder though. Bloop. We have baking soda, I think, in the fridge. Oh, okay. I don't really that know the difference. Be fluffy. Um. What does baking soda do? Besides make your fridge smell good. I think it makes it rise more. Does anyone know what baking soda does? I'm not a baker, to be honest. Yeah. I'm I... a raw food <laughs> stuff, so that's all new to me. Okay, so we've got our flowers. We've got our coconut oil. We have our superfoods. We have greens. We have pumpkin. Do we do sweetener? I have not done sweetener yet. So we're going to do our honey. Um, and some of this maple. Dream hit, you show them that. So this is pretty much... The most delicious honey ever. And it also has lots of greens in it. So it has fiber, protein, magnesium, iron, calcium. It's really great for immunity. Um, honey has raw honey has antibacterial properties, so it's really good during allergy seasons. So this is the green, green honey. I'm gonna use it. I already have it in this jar over here because I was doing a demo in a store yesterday. Look how green that is. And it, I mean it it's still a it sweetener. It tastes incredible. So it's still a sweetener. This is great for paleo diets. And you're um, still getting greens. And, and you're still getting greens, exactly. This is great for kids that are maybe resistant to like the taste of greens since it's straight up honey with superfoods added. So the way that I created this product is just this powder plus a really great high grade organic honey. So it's really simple, that's all that's in there. Um, and it still tastes very much like honey and delicious. Good in tea. So Felix, if you want the raw green honey, go to our website. ThePhilosophy.com. Yeah, ThePhilosophy.com. Thrive Market also sells our honey mm -hmm. if you're a member. Um, and then if you live in LA, we have a few local stores that have our honeys. But definitely ThePhilosophy.com to get all of our products. Oh my gosh, this honey. I died. Can Come I on. tell them my code to get 10% off? Mm -hmm. So if you use the code Alex, which is my name back here, um, mm -hmm. you can get 10% off your order. Yay. And subscribe to our newsletter because we always have really amazing discounts, like 
twenty percent off, twenty five like five dollars off, ten dollars off. Exclusive only to our newsletter people. We don't share it on any social media. So make sure you go to thephilosophy.com and subscribe to our newsletter if you want those exclusive discounts and to see what we're up to week to week. Um, I'm gonna blend this now. Um, basically, how much time do we have? Like ten minutes. Okay, cool. So I'll blend this. So I'm putting this in any high speed blender will do. Wanna come over here? Maybe you're looking at ingredients, whatever you wanna do. Um I'm gonna go to the finished product. Oh, I'm gonna talk about what we have I don't know if you can hear me. I'm gonna go over here. So we love this earth balance coconut spread. It's a really amazing butter substitute. And it's pretty much it's pretty clean. Um I mean obviously it's not a whole food, but if you're going to use a butter substitute, this is probably one of the best options. Um, and then we do raw or pure Vermont maple syrup Great instead of tea. just like Aunt Jemima. No <laughs> Aunt offense. Jemima. So look at this yummy batter. This is pretty much dead on. You don't want to over mix it. My so mine did not look like that. How beautiful. It was like soup when I made it. Soup is okay too. Like if it's a more liquidy, that's, that's okay. Um, Did you see it? Okay, so here's what we're going to do, guys. Come over. This is the fun, beautiful part. So we're going to so open excited. up the hot, hot iron. Careful, Alex. <laughs> Not even going to get into that. I have this great coconut oil spray. Oh, we love this stuff. Trader Joe's. So you're just going to lightly spray. And then you're going to put this amazing batter inside. And I usually just put it in the middle. And then allow it to kind of go up. Out to the outside. You think that's good or more? Um, a little more. Yeah. Do you, does this normally make like two rounds? Yeah, it does. But oh, I'm so excited for breakfast, you guys. Okay. Sorry, we can't share. Bye. <laughs> um, another really good topping for these would be our coconut butter. Yeah. Our coconut butter is delicious. <laughs> I like the classic butter and like a syrup. ton of syrup. Um, so yeah, so, I mean, that's basically the recipe. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask now while this is cooking. This will take a couple minutes. I don't know if you'll actually get to see this finished version, but you did see the other finished version, which I need this morning with the kids, um, so that you guys could see it. Um, and then Alex, if you want to actually, you want me to put you on and you can like prepare it the way you would prepare it. Like syrup sure. And stuff. So Alex is going to actually have this for breakfast. Well, um, it's not normally it melts because it's hot, but. True, 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 true. So Miss Alex is gonna make this for breakfast. We have it cooking in here. Um, do you want to warm it up, or are you okay? You want to warm it up in the <laughs> the robot box? She's gonna warm it up because this is from this morning. These guys are cooking. She's gonna prepare it. Let me know if you have any questions. Does Air One have your products? They don't right now, but you can get it locally if you are in LA. Yes, we love our coconut butter. Let's show them our coconut butter. You want to grab it from the cabinet? Yes. So our coconut butters, if you live in LA, you can pick it up locally from me. Um, so just private message me, Ophir. Woo! So here's our beautiful coconut butter. We have um, three different flavors, berry, chocolate, and this green one. And it's super yummy. It's literally just coconut butter, an organic brown rice syrup to sweeten it the tiniest bit, and then all these great superfoods. So... This is great to melt and spread and put on waffles or add to your coffee to make it vegan. Yeah, it's so good. Or just eat it. Um, how long do you cook it for? You cook this for until it beeps. So if you have a waffle, eh, okay, you can look. Oh, I want to eat this one. Wait, you can, you can. Oh my gosh. Well, I can like butter this one. I mean, wow. I want the fresh one. <laughs> Give us some hearts and thumbs up if you want to eat this right now. Ah! Oh, my God. Look, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Yummy. Um, so, yeah, so you can put syrup. You can put, like, a, we uh, like this coconut spread from Earth Balance. Um, I put, usually put some bee pollen on top. I put um, the kids love maple syrup. I love maple syrup. Yeah, maple syrup's the best. It tastes, like, it tastes like a child. Yeah, it tastes like childhood. However, it's so, so healthy. Oh. Yay, yummy. So. Delish. 
Any other questions? I'm going to scroll through and try and see. I like it to be like damp with syrup personally. Oh, yay. Thank you, Nourish, for putting the recipe up there. So these have pumpkin in them. Thank you, Nourish, for putting my website up there. So go up if you want to see my website. Yes, the milk is great. It's a great dairy-free. Oh, my God. Oh, fear. I see you want the green dream powder and the coconut butter. You're my hero. How is it, Alex? Done. She's done. Mic drop. <laughs> Yummy. And also, 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 um, oh, backlit. You can put this, um, what was I going to say? Oh, you can freeze these. So you can make oh, a yeah, huge yeah. batch and then freeze them and put them in the freezer. And then I, I tested this last weekend. I made a whole batch and I made like a few too many. So I put them in the freezer and the next day I popped them in the toaster and there's an option on the toaster for frozen. Oh, yeah. So I just pressed frozen and toasted it and they came out perfectly. So they freeze really well. Um, the recipes posted ahead. They're also on my website, thephilosophy.com. Just search for Green Dream Waffles. Um, and yeah, I think that's most of your questions. I will go back and answer them throughout the day. You could totally put fresh fruit on that. Yeah. And thank you guys so much. Have an awesome day. Bye. Mwah.